getting more affordable housing into areas like Fair Park. Um, would you agree with that? It is, and you know, especially at the moment when public finances are tight, the fact that we as a government are going to be ready to put more money into building affordable rented council homes. And we're not just building the homes because we're saying, as a condition of that money, firms have got to have apprenticeship schemes in place, they've got to have local labour recruitment schemes in place, means so we can say to people, make it the best of every taxpayer's pound, helping this area and the rest of the country through recession at the same time. That's great. And one of the things I'm picking up on doorsteps is that people want to know that houses such as these and other affordable housing developments, that local people are going to have a chance to go and live in those houses. What do you, um, you, are you, have you announced anything that will help us? Is there anything that will help me? I think that's right. I mean, I think, I think you're right to pick that up. And I think people say, OK, it's fine you're building these homes, but, you know, am I, my family, the people I know, are we going to get a fair crack at, at, at getting those homes? And so what I did before Christmas was say to councils, look, I'm changing the guidance. I'm giving you more scope to do things like give uh, local people looking for work greater priority, people who've been in the area for a long time, greater priority on the waiting list, or have a local letters policy for a particular village or a particular state. And uh, that may well be your next campaign. That is my next campaign. <laughs> Thank you.